Hey! So one of the things I wanted to show you guys is my pantry. Um, and that's because one of the first things that you wanna do when you're starting the Whole30 is to clean out your pantry. You want your choices when you come in here to be so easy that you already know what's Whole30 and what's not. You don't wanna have to dig through and think, oh, no, I can't eat that. No, I can't eat that either. So what I did was I separated my pantry into levels of what I could eat and what I couldn't eat and it just makes my life easier so I wanted to show you guys so this is my pantry um, it's pretty big which is awesome um, but you'll see on the very top level I have all of my protein powders and all of my BCAAs and my gluten-free oats and that's because I am NOT touching any of those during the whole 30 um, as you can see I'm really short I can't reach it so I don't have to worry about it the second level are all of the things that I am also not gonna eat for the Whole30, um, but you know, are healthy still, so I don't wanna throw them away. So things like my Thai rice noodles, which is just made out of rice. I have these gluten-free pancakes and waffle mix. I have my gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix from Trader Joe's. Um, lentils, I have more lentils, my corn, in the back, uh, here's rice, more lentils. Can you tell I like lentils? Uh, wild honey is back there and then all of the baking stuff. But then finally, the very last shelf. Um, this is all the stuff that I can touch. Right now it's kind of empty, but hopefully I will go grocery shopping and buy a few more things. So blender, stuff like that. Um, baggies, these are great if you're gonna cut up veggies and portion them out or just any sort of meal prep, I buy a ton of these. In the back here, I have tahini. Um, now, tahini is what is normally in hummus. So hummus is chickpeas and tahini. Chickpeas is a legume, and so you shouldn't be having that, but a little bit of tahini. Um, there's tons of recipes that use it. I keep it in a bag just because I don't, I don't know, I like to keep messy things uh, contained. Um, I also have roasted peppers. I have apple cider vinegar. People swear by doing a shot of this every morning. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, I don't know. I also heard it tastes like a few things I can't say on YouTube. So um, I might try it. I might not, but I have it. Then we've got the coconut butter. Coconut butter is different. Um, the consistency is different from coconut cream, from coconut milk, all those things. So I have that. I have a ton of canned tomatoes. Um, actually, these red gold tomatoes were sent to me by Red Gold. Uh, I really like them. Uh, they do not have sugar in them, which is super important. So you'll, you'll see it's just tomatoes, tomato juice, salt, um, citric acid, calcium. Uh, it's just to make sure that they, it's like a preservative. Um, a lot of these tomato companies will put sugar in their tomatoes. I don't know why they do that. Um, so always, always read the label, but the red gold is good and the Hunts also is good. I have two of these spray-on coconut oil. Um, I haven't experimented a ton with these, but I'm hoping that that would be really good for like cooking eggs in the morning and things like that, just to put a little bit on there. I also have canned coconut milk. Um, I have Hunt's tomato sauce. I have tuna fish. Uh, this is the tuna fish from Trader Joe's. I have been looking at the tuna fish from uh, like other brands and almost every single brand of tuna fish has soybean oil in it except if this would focus, foc there we go. Okay, so you'll see it says chunky light tuna, water, sea salt. That's it. It's just tuna. It should only be just tuna. So always read the ingredient list. Um, but these are from Trader Joe's. I have like the no salt and the regular salt version. Um, or I think, no, this is the albacore. Yeah, they're two different types of tuna, but they're both just tuna. I also have artichoke hearts, um, more baggies, and then 
I have this. Um, if you have a crock pot, I love this thing. Um, it's just a liner for your crock pot. Yeah, it's plastic. Yes, you're cooking your food in it, but the crock pot temperature is so low that it shouldn't be a problem. And it's so, it, it makes cleaning up so much easier when you do anything with a crock pot that, you know, it always sticks and it always just is a pain to clean. And so when I'm really tired, I just use this um, and it's a lifesaver. But anyway, so. That's my pantry, um, and I'm gonna flip you so you can see me. Hold on. Okay, so that's my pantry, and the one thing that you might have noticed, I do not have cookies, I do not have chips, I do not have chocolate, I do not have all of those unhealthy foods that are non-Whole30 compliant, they're, yeah, are non Whole30. You can't eat them on the Whole30, but you also shouldn't eat them a ton anyway, like cookies. You shouldn't be binging on cookies. The reason I don't keep those in my house is because I am a recovering and food eating disordered person. Um, if there are foods in my house, like cookies and chips, it's very hard for me not to binge on them. Um, I can sometimes do it and I can just have a few cookies and then I'm totally fine. But when I'm doing the Whole30 and my willpower is already struggling because I just want something sweet, if I have cookies, I will fail. I know this about me. If you know this about you or if you think this is you, get rid of them. Get rid of the cookies, get rid of the chips, get rid of anything that is sweet that you will run towards, that you will binge on. You can give it to somebody else or you could, I don't know, bring them to work and make your coworkers eat them, but just don't have them and you will have a much more successful Whole30 if you do that. Uh, okay, so that's it. It's, yeah, short video. Hopefully it's, it's not short, who am I kidding? So. That's another video cleaning out my pantry and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. We have green beans, Brussels sprouts, shaved Brussels sprouts, jalapeno brats, smoked pork chops, their uncured raspberry chipotle bacon, ginger, coriander, garlic powder. Yeah, okay, you get the point.